What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went to the Verbank Complex, captured ourselves two new Pokemon in Magneto and Budkiss, and well, evolved our starter Pokemon, Sigh of the Torrent, into Duat. And so now, it is finally time for us to go straight to the gym, because well, we got some business to take care of now. As you can see, I did train up my Pokemon just a little bit. I didn't train I didn't train Ace a lot because I kind of wanted to evolve on screen. And I believe this is the episode where it actually does happen right here. So what's going to happen first is I'm actually going to start teaching some Pokemon some of the TM moves that I got. So let's go right ahead and give Ace a uh, return because this could be a useful move. So let's go ahead and take away Helping Hand right here. There we go. And well, let's see. We can go with a workup right here. Now, workup actually, it can actually work with Ace as well. Wow, this is a uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We it all works with Ace, not Budkiss or Magneto right here. And well, let's see. Uh, frustration, everybody can learn. I don't know what Thief can. I don't know if Thief can actually help us out. But let's go ahead and use Rock Smash right here. And well, Rock Smash can work on three of my four Pokemon. So, I'm just going to hold off on that. Let's just go straight to the Pokemon Gym. Now, if you guys don't remember, we actually seen uh, Roxanne before. And she was having a little bit of an argument with her dad because he wanted to do two careers rather than one. So, let's go right ahead and come right here. This is the Pokemon Verbank City Gym. And it is with Roxy, the Poison Days Poison on the stage. Poison Days, wow. One thing's for sure, guys, make sure to have a lot of antidotes because this place is going to challenge you with a lot of poison-type Pokemon. And, well, the only man that's ever believed in us, he's like, this is a Pokemon gym, and it's also a rock club. The gym leader and the others are practicing inside, but please feel free to challenge all of them. Oh, and you'll need to stay hydrated. Here you go. And, well, just like that, we get ourselves a fresh water, which can, uh, you know, can actually help us out in the long run right here. So, as you can see, guys... The Pokemon that you actually, or the Pokemon trainers you can actually battle is the band itself, and well, it's a three-piece band, uh, well, yeah, you guys can, you guys can hear it, it's not much of a rock band, so, <laughs> let's go ahead and start doing this, uh, let's go ahead and take on Baldi right here, and he's like, get in my way, and I'll knock you out, stay out of my way, and I'll knock you out too, okay. That really doesn't make any any sense at all. So here we go, taking on Roughneck Nikki, and he will be coming out with a Grimer, and uh, well, as we already know, Grimer is a pretty sticky Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and use Ace. Let's go with the Workup Attack right here. Now this move right here was actually used against us back when we were taking on Charon, and it worked perfectly. Now it could work right here. So let's go ahead and use a Takedown Attack. Hopefully this will actually take care of uh, business and well Grimer using that disable attack and Just like that takedown has been taken away. So let's go straight for a bite attack. Yes Look at that bite attack does the trick and well, he's about to come out with a coughing So let's go straight with ace again and let's go with a return attack right here. That's right Hopefully ace loves us enough to actually beat him, but well, it takes half its HP right there, so, yeah. And that was a critical hit, so let's go again with another return attack right here. And just like that, nearly defeats him. Good gravy. Oh, my God. Okay, come on. Yeah, we could have uh, defeated this guy in two hits, but, yeah, that, that coughing seems to be very, very tough right there. And just like that, Ace has grown to level 16. Yes. Yes. We did it. Okay, so this is what we've been waiting for another evolution ace is evolving Now if you guys have seen my Pokemon black walkthrough it eventually evolves into Stoutland from Scotland One of my favorite Pokemon in Unova. It's a very very strong and reliable Pokemon But like I've said before guys a lot of these Pokemon that I use are gonna be changed up from time to time because now that we have more more Pokemon in the region I think it's best it that we can actually like switch up the the whole thing right here So let's go right ahead and take a look at our herdier, you know Good old ace evolving as you can see herdier the normal type Pokemon and it has picked up an, an ultra ball, which is great and Well still it's a attack is it? It's a strong point 
Now, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and take that item away. Yes, we got ourselves an Ultra Ball. And... Let's see. Hold on just a sec. Yes, we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for a Magneto because... One thing about Steel-type Pokemon is that they will not be affected by Poison-type Pokemon at all. That is awesome. That is fantastic. That is great. And here we have guitarist Billy Joe, named after probably Billy Joe, uh, what's his face from, uh, yeah, from Green Day. And, well, let's see. We got Venipede, both a bug and Poison-type Pokemon. I think we could defeat him right here. So let's go with a Thundershock. Just to finish this guy off right here. Look at that. Venipede getting hit pretty hard right there. That does not affect us. Let's go, Magneto. Sonic Boom. And that Sonic Boom does the trick. Say goodbye to Vanipede. And, well, it's about to come out with a coughing, so let's continue on right here. And, like I said before, Sonic Boom early on is a very powerful attack. It takes automatic 20 HP. So, that, that right there is a very good thing to actually have on a Magnemite if you guys choose one. Later on, you know, it will learn some pretty awesome moves, Steel-type moves in, in general. And just like that, Coughing has been defeated. Magneto grows to level 16, and yes, Billy Joe has been defeated. Okay, so, here we have the Gym Leader, and... Before anything happens, I think it's best that we use some Pekka Berries, or Pecha Berries, Pekka Pekka Cha and give it to three to three of the to three of our four pokemon now magnum magnemite will not be affected by poison so that's a given right there but the other three pokemon i do not want to risk it because there is a high probability that it could happen so let's go right ahead and start healing up our pokemon uh let's see let's see let's see let's see use that that way we don't waste a turn ace that's that's right and magneto okay alrighty let's see you know what let's go with magneto I kind of want to take this on so here we have get ready I'm gonna knock some sense out of ya so here it is guys the second gym battle and it's against Roxy the poison type gym leader and look at her she's the base player and she's ready to go she's got two Pokemon coughing and I do not know what the other Pokemon is. We will eventually find out. But as you can see, copying, it is at level 16. And the best, like I said, the best way to go about this is to have a Psychic type Pokemon. But yeah, that is going to take some work if you have a Psyduck. So the next option would be having a Steel type Pokemon. That, it, that way it won't be affected by any of these moves. So we're going to be Strategimajig right here. We're going to paralyze it, confuse it, and then start attacking it right here. So there you go. That's right. The power of Arceus compels you right there. Look at that. Okay. And it is confused, hurting itself. I am happy about this. It's like I can feel your desire to win pouring out of you. That's right. Sonic Boom for the win. And yes. Coughing's not having it right now. And here comes a tackle attack. Not effective. So let's go one more Sonic Boom for the win. And just like that, Magneto has been defeated. And well, here comes a Whirlipede. So we're going to continue on with Magneto right here. And this is the strongest Pokemon that Roxanne has. It is a very defensive Pokemon. So I'm going to go all strategic on this Pokemon. It likes to use Protect because, well, it, it is vulnerable to a lot of hits right here. So here comes a Pursuit Attack. Not super effective thanks to the steel type capabilities of my Magneto. And well, look at that. It is paralyzed. And well, let's go ahead and use another a supersonic right here. Yet yeah, you still confused. Let's go again, supersonic. Man, this Pokemon is trying to be defensive and all that crud. So let's go again, another supersonic. Look at that, okay. Alrighty. Where you at, Whirlipede? Where you at? Okay, and here comes a Pursuit Attack. So it survived both the par Paralysis and the Confusion. So now it is time for us to start hitting it with some Sonic Booms right here. And Whirlipede is not liking it. There it is. It's uh, getting hit by its Confusion. So there we go. Sonic Boom. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Sonic Boom yet again. And just like that, I am throwing out the peace sign. We only needed one Pokemon, and Magneto has done it. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, I was right in the middle of a course. Yes, you were. 
Whew. Sigh. What are you doing losing to Roxy? Well, I guess that means you're strong. This stinks, but I have to give everything I had, and uh, I feel revitalized and refreshed now. Here, proof that you beat me. And just like that, guys, we get ourselves our second badge. I think that's the Toxic Venom badge, Toxic Badge, or I don't even know, guys. It's been a while since I played this game. Yes, it's the Toxic Badge. Two badges. Now Pokemon up to level 30, even Pokemon you got in trades will re realize how good you are and won't ignore your commands. Also, here, use this TM. We get ourselves the TM09 Vanishock, a very good move. And, well, let's see, Vanishock, it covers the target in a special poisonous liquid. Even better, if your target's already poisoned, it does double the damage. <laughs> it almost packs too much of a punch. Something that you've been trying to do. And I kind of want to see something right here. Okay, so Vanishock... I kind of feel like we can't use it, or any of my Pokemon can use it, so let's see who can use it. And yes, nobody can use it. Okay, well, never mind. So that's two badges. We shut up the band, the so-called band, and uh, before anything happens... Hey, you! I feel like you were something special, or feel you were something special during your battle against Roxy. Please come with me to the Pokestars, uh, Pokestars Studios, which unfortunately is a place where we, we have to go. You're going to the Pokestar Studios? Oh, I forgot the old man. I have to get him back to work as a captain. And she's talking about her dad, I believe. Okay, well, let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here. Yes, everybody has shut up. That's right, feeling uh like a, you know, P.I.M. poop. You know, too many badges. That's right, okay. So, that is two badges, guys. And, well, we couldn't have done it without... Magneto. So in the next episode, we will be going into the Pokestar Studios. It, it's not my favorite place in the world, but we kind of have to go in there. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button, notifications button, all that stuff. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, the link is in the description right there below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go into the Pokestar Studios. See you guys.